Once you have finished the first step, you can move on to the next one, calculation of annual expenses. They are usually two types, fixed and variable expenses. Fixed expenses are those that your property will incur each year, taxes, maintenance, and insurance. If the property is located in the city, the taxes will be higher than if it's in the country. Moreover, the tax rate on properties varies within a city. In the central parts, it tends to be higher in comparison with real estate on the outskirts. Occasionally, the taxes on a property are higher if it serves the purpose of investment rather than home. While fixed expenses is only one factor, you should consider the variable annual expenses as well. In this category, you might include annual repairs, new furniture, roof repair, plumbing services, and others. Even though it's hard to estimate how much the variable expenses will be, set aside an amount of money equal to fixed annual expenses. Assuming the latter is $1,500, then set aside $1,500 for variable expenses. This makes $3,000. If the annual rent is $10,000, then you will make a $7,000 profit. Bear in mind that this calculation is valid only if you have tenants throughout the whole year. There's always the possibility of months when you won't collect rent. The third That's it for now. On our website, you can find more posts and podcasts, as well as calculators and other financial tools. Do you have any rental property investment? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them on the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and our channel on YouTube.